Hey you guys, it's Carol here. I'm back with another video. Yesterday said I'm back with another video. And as you guys could tell by today's title, I'm gonna be doing a reaction video today. I'm gonna be reacting to Blue Therapy episode one. Um, this is like a popular thing that's going on right now, whatever the case may be. Uh, I've seen clips, bits and pieces, and I was like, I want to react to that. Like, I really want to react to that. Like, whatever, I just do. But uh, before we get into this video, I need y'all to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, turn the post notification bell on. That way you don't miss a video, don't miss a beat, don't miss a video, don't miss a beat. Y'all, it's late, 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 late. It's like 12 a.m. Normally, I like staying up this late, but... If you can see it in my eyes, I am freaking exhausted. So right after this video, I am taking a bath, taking this makeup off, all that, all that, all that, all that. So let's start the reaction. I don't even know if I'm going to finish this video, but let's get it. boyfriend have been going through a lot lately um this is the last leg for us we're really really hanging in in our relationship i've seen an opportunity for a social experiment and i think that it's best we both come here and get some help you made me wanna know. okay okay for three years now just like everyone else we've had our ups and downs you know things happen but coming to therapy with a camera for some social experiment that's just it's a red flag to be fair and now like she knows my perspective on this i prefer we go to a church and we sit down with a pastor in a corner but you know us getting to this extent where we're actually here for a social experiment it's just it doesn't make sense i think it's gonna go south i'm like, pretty I'm sure she don't want to go to therapy for no the reason sure it's a reason Blue therapy. Hello. Hi, Denise. Come in, sit down. Hello, Paul. How was the traffic? Terrible. Oh, oh we're here. Oh. We made it. My name's Denise, and I'm your therapist today. Have you ever been to therapy before? Hey, Denise. Never. We've never been. I did go online. I read how important it is about, you know, um, having premarital therapy, counselling, and I do believe myself and Paul um, are in dire need of some help. I wouldn't say we've deteriorated to a point of no return. He already we looking are confused. We're progressing in our relationship, and I'm not entirely happy. Okay. So, Paul, um, thank you for joining us. Have you got any idea of what expectations you are looking to to get out of this this therapy session? I literally, I have no idea. I'm curious to find out. Okay, that's great. Well, it's great that you're here. So, uh, shall we start? So, of course, this isn't my first time on camera. I'm very comfortable in front of the camera. Um, I understand Paul isn't. I didn't bring him here to. Oh, I didn't tell y'all this. I think this is the UK, y'all. You hear the accent. I think they're in the UK. Shout out to the UK. Caring too much about what people think. Instead of really like fixing the issues. Okay, cool. Do you feel the same way? I'm literally blown away. Like I haven't even heard this before. What, what, do you want to give more context to what you're actually saying? Because I'm, I'm entirely here. Okay. Paul, for example, has a lot of friends. He has affluent friends. He feels like he has to fit in, which he. He might fit in as friendship, but when it comes to finances, he doesn't necessarily fit in. So if we're looking at percentage-wise and when they go out and what they spend, they can afford it. We can't. But Paul will do it anyway. So if he's trying to keep up with the Jones. The next week or two, chasing the bag, he's blown, um, which now leaves me in a deficit of love. So there's neglect going on in our household. All right, so mm -hmm. we like, haven't been here for five minutes. Chomna's talking about finance to the bloody Denise, someone that we don't even know. Now, first of all, there is no man that's out there with multiple accounts, crypto accounts, high interest accounts, that's going to sit down and show his girl his balance. So she doesn't even know the financial situation first. So hang on, let me just let Paul... 
No, maybe she would if you talked to her. He getting on my nerves already. Cause you gonna have to keep that up. <laughs> This gaslighting shit. You're not comprehending what I'm saying. I've lost, just literally just explained it. Out of everything I said, you got that bit. Like, Paul, he takes what he wants to take, he hears what he wants to hear, and he hears what he wants to see. I'm not dismissing it right now, right? We're having a conversation. He about to gaslight the fuck out of her. But you're here. Let's have a conversation, right? So when we first started dating, um, she was happy with, you know, the drive, the ambition. You know, me taking, you know, calculated risk here and there and gaining rewards. She's the first person to come and, you know, say, oh, congratulations, babe. Let's celebrate together. But then I've actually kept the same energy. And now it seems like she doesn't really have the same energy. So who is the person that's falling off? Okay, so in other words, I'm a hater. Well. Because I still, I still um, celebrate your wins. No, that, that's true. But I love the access. So I'm a hater. Uh, so. Literally, I have access to a good number of private members clubs. Uh, this is through the clients of mine. I train um, high net weapon. To me, he's so talking about a whole bunch of shit that, that don't matter. Now, with, with these membership Sorry. clubs, obviously, it's not everyone that's, you know, invited. And I feel like that kind of affects Choma. Whereas before, if we were going to, like, you know, like a normal type of, yeah, average, no, maybe not average show, but, you know, the usual, then I kind of be oh, babe, you know, come along, but... When I'm actually, you know, grafting, You're giving me very much like, asshole, said, asshole vibes. I don't really feel like she needs to be present, and she actually doesn't have an invite anyway, so... Okay, that, that's not what we're... I'm not, I'm not upset that I'm unable to come to the events that you go to and to the, the gambling places, because it's gambling, if you ask me. It's casino, isn't it? So the, the clubs you guys are going to and the money you're spending, some of it is gambling, all right? Because everything he's, he likes to say is constructive. Clubbing is not constructive. It's not beneficial to um, our relationship or to, to him. Even places like that, he places too much emphasis on how they look at him. So you're out here doing the most, buying so many bottles, paying 10K for tables, and it doesn't make sense. I'm at home being neglected. When he comes home, he goes back to work. So my point is, you're putting too much emphasis on the way they see you. Mm. Why is that? You're trying to, you, you're supposed People to make time me. for what they want to make time for. I deal with, they're on another level, to be fair. They're high net worth, and they work really hard for themselves. Now, for me to be able to kind of be that act of service for them, you can imagine how hard I have to work. If they're calling you, you need to answer. If they're sending you a message, whether it's a text or WhatsApp, listen, you need to be on point. I'm able to give them that service. I mean, I get that to a certain extent, but you taking the okay, next level. I'm quite Here goes somebody else. Give a much bad and bougie. That's 
Damn. Low battery already. If I'm gonna be able to finish this, the camera's already done. Was the traffic bad? Um, so yeah. We're gonna get through what we can get through, y'all. So that's all that matters. Can I just start by asking Tired anyway. you what brought you here and, and how long have you been together? Do you want to take that? No, I need to ask. We've actually been together for a year. Um, I met Jamel at one of his fitness events, so my sister also does fitness. So and then we met, we started talking, and then we, now we're here. So, so he um, has had therapy before, and he thought it was really good and helpful, so I feel like that's why I'm open to doing it. And what are you doing? Y'all been together for a year, y'all already in therapy? By the end, of, what's your goal coming to therapy? I think to actually set some foundations, um, and I see blossom from this beautiful relationship that I've got. Um, we've started great. So you want to be with her? always late it's gonna become a problem like some shit you gotta be on time for right some stuff Started, with women. Hard working, I was doing XYZ, what I had to do, okay? 
everything was fine. She was happy. I've got a hardworking guy. Okay, hug, kiss. Okay, cool. Nowadays, we're probably not gonna finish this whole thing, y'all. Asking me where am I coming from, and I'm thinking, what? Fair enough. I don't work overtime, and I'm doing other things on a different level, but I'm the same person. So why would you question it? Can I just ask, what's the the last? Because you're not making an effort. Denise, Denise. Turning each other against each other. When's the last time you bought flowers? Look, forget about that. Denise Let's doing her job. Just to briefly go over this, right? Um, as far as I understand, you've been called for employed rather okay. to basically help us in our relationship to get better, right? Okay. Okay. So, how do you think you're doing so far? Okay. First, um, don't be rude. Why are you talking to her like that? It's a genuine question. That's one called. It's a genuine question. He knew he was going to therapy. What the fuck? The fact is that I'm here to enable you to see Tell him, Denise. the fog that may be there at the moment. I'm not here to give you an answer. I'm just helping you discover... Helping y'all communicate. What's your success rate in terms of, like, couples that have... This is not the time for this. Y'all signed up for this show. Like, what the fuck? Well, it, I think you've already done your research. I did research and I found out that a lot of people gave you good reviews. Um, a lot of them have actually gone on to get married. A lot of them have resolved their situation. Mm -hmm. um, be open-minded. I feel like people get results from you if they're open-minded. Hey, hey, she, didn't, she didn't answer the question. What's your success rate? Are she you didn't answer the question because you're trying to, like, talk I, down on her. I don't work in figures. I work in people. And Tell when them. people come back, it's because they're seeing results. Right. So as far as I'm concerned, um, things are working. So if, if we came back it to your session, that I, means it's working. Well, you sign up for a certain number of sessions, and then we discuss whether you need to oh, do... Oh, so there's more than one? Uh, he's being very rude. You need multiple set. <sighs> oh, my gosh. I'm quite happy. I feel like so I'm losing so I brain cells listening to bit, him. I'm getting irritated at this point. You're being I'm irritated. No, 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 but. At the end of the day, You make you feel like you're competing with if we're both kind of in the people at work in terms of our goals and our visions then i would assume that we'd both basically be on the same page is, is that wrong denise <sighs> no, it's good he's a narcissist couples are on the same page but are you on the same page are you asking <laughs> i'm asking both of you do you think you're question. on the same page i feel as though we are on the same page with certain things but again as much as Paul says I like to nag, he has a lot of issues with things that I do. Me and Jamal She didn't find her somebody else because this nigga. He's literally in love with social media. There's this new app called Clubhouse. I don't know if you've heard about it. This guy loves the app so much. I actually wish the app was not invented. I would call Jamal after a long day and we haven't spent for a whole day. And he has Clubhouse in the background. Like, he'd literally call me on his MacBook so that we can so he can have Clubhouse in the background and then we'll have a separate conversation. Like, that's just, that's just too much. Is it that deep? How feel when you've got Clubhouse going and you're on the phone as well? I mean, if I haven't spoken to you all day, like, am I not important? Like, you know that I go bed early, so I'm literally going to take 20 minutes of your time. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. But he... He has to have compass in the background. He has to be on stage. Everyone has to hear Jamal's voice. Like, it's really not that deep. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's that he's craving female attention. I'm not giving him enough attention. This guy always wants to be on stage. What are you chasing? What are you looking for? I don't understand. It's really not that deep, to be fair. The way she's making it, to be fair, I would describe podcast, uh, club of like podcast. Really and true. So I just listen to it as well. No, you don't. You're always on stage and you always have to make one comment yeah, or another. Stage, right? mm, so he be on there like talking and stuff. No, I don't agree. <laughs> please ask that question honestly, please. I said it. I said so Clubhouse is start. less important than me? No. You're not more important than this after one year. Yeah, that's facts. I don't really agree, but that's fine. You know what they say? It's a safe space. So it's an app full of fun. 
how they gonna be when they get to the third year or the fourth year? She wants attention, I guess. So her being clingy here and there's cute, but she just needs to relax. I think she's getting a bit jealous, maybe. How much time do you actually spend together? I think when we first started the relationship, we see each other quite often. Obviously, times have just changed and shifted, and obviously our work schedules have gone busy. All right, y'all. I just cut it off right there because I'm not gonna cap. I'm getting tired. I got a job interview in the morning. Wish me luck on that. Um, I'll just give my final thoughts on it. The first couple, um, the first couple, the guy is a narcissist. Like he's playing this whole game of confusion and I'm right, you're wrong. And just, I'm just listening to him and I don't, I don't like his demeanor. I don't like his mannerisms. You know, it's not safe. It's right. upsetting me in my home, girl. Cause we feel like, well, damn, if you can't go to bed on no chase, what the hell? Cause you go. I'm usually a good judge of character. I mean, I could be wrong, but I ain't fucking with his vibe at all. Um, the girl is gorgeous and she sounds like she has some sense. So. Hey, he better watch out because she could be with somebody else quick, fast, in a hurry. Like, um, I forgot how long they said they was together, but I wish them the best. I don't know if I'm going to react to more of this. I don't know. I don't know. I'm tired. The second couple, um, this is that girl's first relationship, so this might not even be the the relationship for her i mean i guess it's good that they're taking the steps you know okay they're in therapy you know that's showing that they want to do something different but i just feel like therapy after the first year like i don't know like it just sounds like their communication is off and he's not taking the relationship serious so i don't know where that shit gonna go um i don't want nobody in their relationships to break up but break up if it's not if the relationship is no longer serving you, you should definitely break up because, like I said, people make time for what they want to make time for. Um, smash that like, smash that subscribe button. Bye, y'all. Love y'all. Peace.